You can yeah, tell the yeah, difference yeah. right there, man. Check one, two. Let's try talk over. Talk over works really well. So talk over, it like cuts it all the way down to almost nothing. guys it's What's dj that? rick webb and dj marcellus though we are back again with another video on the denon prime 4 because denon just sent us over the official software that's going to be coming on the release units here in about a week and a half we're checking it out tonight it's like two o'clock in the morning we both have gigs tomorrow but we got the new software so we got to check it out so far we just rebooted it with the new software and um we're trying to figure out what changed because hey i only mess with this thing for like a couple hours well I i'm gonna also mess around with it and we'll see if we can find something that changed first impressions no no horizontal waveforms we did ask though, the boys over at Denon said that it is coming very soon, probably mid-summer would be my guess, but it's eventually coming. They teased me too, they even said like, yeah, mixing on this thing with horizontal waveforms is awesome. They're using it on prototype beta right now. This may or may not make it to the video. This may or may not make it, but why didn't you put a jog wheel sensitivity knob on there like you got on the SC5000s? You should have. From a DJ who used turntables, these jog wheels, feel real awkward. Agree? No, these feel, they feel super awkward. <laughs> <laughs> to describe what he's saying, the platters when you like grab them have a lot of tension. They feel like they should, but then when you let it go, the thing just like free spins way too much. We'll give you a demo. So like you're scratching or you or you don't it and then you, you mix it in and the thing just keeps spinning. Caitlin can show you too. So that you know I'm not lying. But anyways, we're gonna figure out what's going on with this firmware. Discovery! Number one, don't. first off, don't even, this might have been in the original beta, I don't remember. But we're basically just going through all the settings and see what we found. We found a master limiter. Yeah. So right here in settings, we have master limiter. So you can have it off, which is default. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this like completely peaked out, ridiculously. Peaked out, right? Well, all we're going to do, here, give this some frame. We're going to lower this limiter. And now it's on 0 dB, and as you can see, it's 0 dB on the limiter. Let's turn the trim on. Nothing. No distortion at all. That's insane. What? We just peeked out everything on purpose to see if we could distort it. Like, literally, this versus this. It's the same volume. So, check one, two. Check one, two. This is the first time playing with the mics. I never played with it in the review. Check one, two, check one, two, three, four. Let's go full out. Check one, two. Echo, 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 echo. whoa. Oh, you peeking at me. Look, you peeking at me. Hey, that's a dope thing that they added, though. Um, It's like audio check, interfaces. Check one, two. You know if it's peaking or not, because it'll be turning red. Exactly. Let's try talk over. Talk over works really well. It returns quick, too. So we could make it more so that when you talk over it goes even quieter dude you can go all the way to negative 40 this is like no like you start talking and literally the, the there's nothing yo you know what this is clutch for introductions is the talk over on the sz not that good no the talk over in the sz is garbage <laughs> it's not this good at all so if you're saying names though like introducing kaylin spears <laughs> It returns right to it real quick. Yeah, it does. If you time it right, it'll work really good. If they ain't got the talk over feature, how can they do the introduction? If you don't have a talk over feature, you do this right here. You grab the fader and you lower it. And then you speak. <laughs> and then you raise it back up. And then you lower it. And then you speak again. And you raise it back up. And then you just do this little thing right here. So we've discovered one other thing. And that is you can set a limiter on your mic. So just like with the master output, you can set a limiter on your mic. So if you have a really loud mouth or you don't know how loud someone's going to speak, you can set it. So I can raise this up, 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 And I should be able to peek it here. So check, 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 check. I'm going to turn it down. Ba, ba, ba. That's actually really hard to do. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, it's way easier when you go up. Ba, 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 ba. But if I lower it down. Ba, 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 Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two, check, one, two. All right, so we finished messing with the mics. Um, awesome features are talk over is really fast, really responsive, and honestly, super good. And there are 
limiters yet again on the mics just like you have on the master which is awesome that they included that so you really can never if you set the limiters up at 0 dB you should never be redlining alright so we moved on and we messed with zone out for the first time zone out is pretty basic so you you create a prepare list in here and you click the zone out button you click play and that's pretty much it it plays the list in that order you can't really edit that list and there's no transitions I think they should upgrade that because if it's another room you don't want to sound just like you playing off a iPhone or something in the other room so it, there's no fade in between the two songs at all it's literally one song ends and the next song starts very similar to autoplay on Serato which I know a lot of you guys would regard as being pretty crappy I said this back in my Serato video when I was talking to Serato but Denon same thing a simple transition fade time from 0 to 10 seconds in the settings menu very easy software thing to put in there and it'll make the music sound a heck of a lot better if Spotify could do it then you can do it speaking of Spotify you wanna like add Spotify integration and Wi-Fi integration hold up before you guys go down in the comments and tell me blah 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 yeah I'm interrupting the video right now because as of recording this right now Denon has announced that they did not tell anyone, but they put a Wi-Fi chip into every single one of the Prime 4s, as well as their SE 5000s, etc. So, all of these units are Wi-Fi capable, all, and uh, to activate that, a firmware update will be coming this summer that will activate Wi-Fi on the Prime 4. Holy crap, that's going to be insane. And they've already announced that they partnered with a bunch of streaming services, and uh, the this just opens up a lot of doors for the Prime 4. Holy crap. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Denon Prime 4 software update, the official firmware. To sum it up, basically from the beta version that everyone has been messing with, everyone has been playing with, nothing really changed as far as I can find and as far as I can see. Pretty much they just beefed it up and made it bu bulletproof. Um, that's one thing Caitlin just mentioned right there. Loading tracks is way faster. When you swipe the loaded track, it loads literally instantly. There was a lag and a little bit of delay on the beta version, but now it's like buttery smooth. So as far as uh, that, that's pretty much it. There's um, integration with Serato is not out yet because Serato hasn't added it to the so their software. Virtual DJ integration is not out there yet. They haven't messed with DVS or uh, sound switch. Kalen's going to be taking this uh, back to his crib for about two weeks to uh, mess around with it because he's considering buying one as well. So uh, he'll play around with it for a little bit. That's pretty much it guys. We found some really cool settings that we didn't find originally when we first were testing it such as the limiters, the master limiter, the mic limiters. Uh, finally got to play with the master or the mics. The talk over is, it is the ideal talk over. I think that this device is the ideal controller, whatever you want to do for mobile DJs. Even being a turntable DJ, like I'm definitely looking at this way more than bringing out my turntables to the gig because you literally got two mic inputs with EQs on them and you ain't got the compressions everywhere. Especially when you're DJing with others, that's a big issue is having the compressions or allowing other people talk with your microphones. People got loud voices, people got soft voices, so. It's perfect mobile DJ setup. On that note, one thing I know all of you guys have been commenting is that there is no samples. Samples is not present on the Denon Prime 4. This kind of goes back to what Kalen said. This is designed and this is pretty much the most practical mobile DJ, wedding DJ, all that fun stuff. Control. I don't know about you guys, but 90% of wedding DJs do not do samples at their weddings because that's kind of disrespectful. In fact, I've actually had brides and grooms been like, do you, we know you play at clubs, do you do like your name drop thing? And I'm like, no, not at a wedding, that's, that's terrible. So anyways, this was a very, very, very quick video because we were expecting to hopefully find something amazing in this software and we really didn't find anything other than it is the software. It's the official software and it's ready to go. Kalen, any last words? Do you guys want me to start YouTubing again? I mean, I will if you guys want me to. We all know this dude don't have time to edit. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. If you guys have any questions related to the Denon Prime 4, you want to see any features more in depth, Please leave them down in the comment section down below and we will film some more videos. Next time Kaylin is down here, we're going to be messing around with StageLink. 
uh, linking the laptop off of it and doing some stuff with sound switch so stay tuned for that in upcoming videos and again any questions comments concerns leave them down in the comment section down below if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you are not already subscribed to this YouTube channel be sure to click that subscribe button and uh, like always guys my name is DJ Rick Webb I'm DJ Marcellus keep the burger spinning guys and I'll see you guys next time <laughs> peace